behind the face, spin the face, up in so many places. I was broken out of place, thinking no invitation. Could have folded, never make it. This is my. What is up, guys? My name is Marco Siebert. Welcome to episode 22, Roe vs. Wade. Um, again, before I start, I just want to say this is a very controversy topic. Um, I, I can't stress this enough. Um, but I want to be the dude and the man to do my duties to talk about this because I feel like there is no manly roles out here doing this. And we need to stick up for our princesses and our queens. Nobody's doing that. And, and I just have to start off this episode with that energy because um, it's sad. You know, I, I think about my mom. I think about my, my sisters. I think about other people's moms that I care about and my grandma and, and all these people and, and none of the men are really sticking up. So that's what this episode is about. Um, again, this is very controversy, but I still will do my due diligence to say what I have to say and say the right things. Okay. Um, so again, welcome to episode 22. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you guys for staying tuned for my interviews that are dropping. Um, it's only getting bigger and bigger. Shout out to Frank for running the Rise of Elevate Gaming. Um, it's only getting bigger, guys. So thank you. I love every single one of you. I just wanted to start off by saying how I've been. I've been great. Um, like always, I'm always growing. I'm teaching other people how to grow. Um, it's been exciting. The journey is beautiful. Uh, I can't stress this enough. Thank you to my beautiful girlfriend. Um, I, that's, my, that's my main priority in my life. That's who keeps me pushing. So thank you, Andrew. I love you so much. Um, thank you to my family who's been rocking with me, who's been being strong with me, um, never looking at me differently or sideways. Uh, so that's how I've been. I've been great. Excited for the interviews to come up. Um, almost from a month and a couple of days, I'll be seeing Wiz Khalifa. So everything that I'm really doing and building up will be like a, 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 a invitation to Wiz to be like, yo, please hop on. Or like, even when I see him do like a brief little five minute interview and just ask him questions right off the rip. Um, Cause I'm different, you know what I mean. Uh, so a lot of times people would go to these meet and greets and think that they're gonna be trying to just meet him and shake his hand, take the picture, and done. Hey Wiz, see ya. I ain't doing that, but but like I don't know who you think you're about to be talking to, but hey, I'm gonna be hitting this man with so many things. He's gonna be like, he's gonna get my number. Okay, so I'm excited, guys. This is it. This is what I grind for. I don't play. Um, if you know me, I'm very OCD about everything I do. Um, so it's only, it's actually a good perk. Uh, so uh, the, my first interview has been great. Thank you, Jeremiah um, slash Basic for even taking your time out to do that. Uh, for people who don't really know, I've actually done a first interview before. And this is what I'm trying to teach people is even when you fail, you come back 10 times stronger than ever because that's what me and Jeremiah did. So thank you, Jeremiah, because I love you for that. And you stayed strong with me. And there's other artists who have been trying to stay strong with me too. And I know how hard it is, but Jeremiah, thank you, seriously. Um, that means a lot. Uh, that means a lot that we got finished what our task was lied ahead of us and we got a big reward out of it. Um, and I'm not talking about with money. I'm not talking about with uh, gifts and stuff. It's what we accomplished as me and him doing things. And that's what I'm trying to teach other people how to do. So again, uh, what's next has been really just life, man. I've been trying to just get the interviews rocking. I got my buddy DJ Will coming in this weekend for the interview. Um, so I'm excited. My next week, I'll kind of do a little sample because I've been waiting so long. Um, his name's Jay Slauson. He is a basketball player for Furman University. Hopefully things still work out. I'm excited. Uh, I've been waiting to do a basketball player because I am a baller myself. And uh, I break ankles. And, you know, my cousin Bubby knows what's up. I broke his ankles a few times. And so he's going to hate me for that. He might come in here during the video. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. He's a little weenie. No, <laughs> Again, I love every single one of y'all. Um, just thank you guys for rocking with me. It's been beautiful. Uh, so we'll get to the question of the week. Um, really just wanted to say, I'm gonna get my little notebook. I ran out of paper on my little tiny notebook. So now I got a, I got a man notebook. So I'm officially a man, but we're going to do the question of the week, which is, do you think Roe versus uh, Wade should be overturned? And that's a no brainer. Uh, I really don't think it should have been overturned in my opinion. And I only say that because women have a right to do their their due diligence with their body the way that they want. And I'll just leave it at that because as a man, you know, I have the right to make the choice for my body parts or what I choose to do with it. So why can't they, you know, there, there's no, there's no explanations from that. And I get it that, you know, there's controversy topics to, 
to lead to multiple answers to why it was overturned, but that still does not matter. We as humans have our rights to make our own choices with our bodies and choose to do what we want. And I know I'm a male. I know I shouldn't be having to like do the role to talk about this, but nobody's doing it. Nobody's sticking up for our queens. Nobody's sticking up for our princesses. Nobody knows what really happens on the daily life of women. Like we act like we do, but we don't. And us men, we portray that we love our women, but we really don't because nobody's sticking up. Nobody big, nobody LeBron James, no, none of these big people are sticking up for our princesses for this big moment right here. They're quiet. They're cricketing. And I can't sit here and you can ask my girlfriend and I've been battling myself for the last few, like three, four days to do this topic and something inside me is saying, just do it. Like be the dude, be the one, because I care for my, I care for the women. I care for my girlfriend. I care for my girlfriend's parents. I care for my parents. I care for everybody, anybody, women, you know, and it sounded weird, but I'm just tired of it because I wake up every day and it's like, we're all just living life, but nobody's really making the change to do these things. Nobody's sitting here, you know, there's a big protest today. Um, I'm doing this video on Tuesday. So shout out to the people who are going to the protest. Me personally, I can't go to protest because I get carried away. If somebody says something to me the wrong way, then I'm gonna go, you know, not in a hostile way. It's just more of like, it's just, this is how the world should be. Like we should all be coming together as one and being peaceful and doing things in a, in a manner of, uh, you know, how we approach things. But some people do things that are so disrespectful. It's like, it's hard and, and I don't like to be around that. So I do my, do my part and try to voice my opinion and, you know, just that, play my role. And there's always controversies. controversies. Nobody's never going to just agree to everything you say. Like, ever. It could be the simplest things. Like, I like Lay's chips. Somebody's going to be like, yo, Lay's chips are nasty. Okay, so every single thing you do in your life, there's always going to be somebody that doesn't agree. So I just had to do this part. Um, I know I've went on a long rant, but this is this topic has been eating me up. I didn't want to go fully in depth with it, and I'm not going to go fully in depth in it. Um, I just had to put my little part in it for the question of the week because, like I said, it's been it's been itching in my head. As someone who thing, and I've already kind of went on a rant about it. But like, I know why. And it's because we want to, we want to be superior. We want to be the dudes in control. And we do, it's 2022 and people will still haven't realized that we are all equal people. What women do for us is something that men will never be able to do for another men. What women do for us is something that, oh geez, man, I just had to take a breather because this topic is so like important. I've been waiting and it's just, it's just crazy, but I just think that men need to start taking a bigger role in this whole this whole predicament and this whole situation that's going on um, because no, who else is? You know, we all have kids and some of us have, you know, daughters and some of us have grandmothers and I just, I can't even say like what I want to say because it's just so, it's so touchy, bro. So we're just going to go to the next bullet point. Uh, what can we do about this? In my opinion, we already doing stuff right now. We're taking action in South Carolina and Charleston, um, Somerville to be exact. Uh, we're doing protests. We need to start doing that. Uh, we need more men to start being more vocal. Um, you know, just more things. We need to reach out to each other more. Uh, I personally think that we just need to have someone big in Charleston do one big giant event so that we can have them talk to everybody in, in this area. And, you know, it sounds easier said than done, I know, but it's still like, I'm still going to play my part and make a whole week dedicated to this because this is, this is what we should be doing. There should be 10 of me doing this right now. There should be 10 other men doing this, sticking up for our women right now, and nobody's doing it. So, I, yeah, that this episode is kind of like, it's a, it's a, it's like a, um... It's kind of a sad one, you know what I mean? It's not like an energetic one where I'm so happy because, you know, we're losing right now. The world is losing and we're like, nobody's doing anything. And, you know, somebody just has to talk about this and keep it straightforward with the what's going on. 
and not be afraid to be canceled or um, be ashamed to be sticking up for what is right because I'm not afraid to stick up for what's right. Especially, like, I, I'll keep saying this again. Think about if this was your mother, bro. Think about if this was a, your sister, your grandmother, you know, just somebody that you really care about, your coach, you know, your, your pastor maybe, or just think about that. And it would, it would really change your mindset on why. Just make sure you vote, you know. Make sure you vote this year or coming up soon and just do your part because this world is not – it's not really on the same term, and I can't really even, like, man, it's so hard. I feel like people who are going to watch this are going to be like, dang, this dude is really jumbled everywhere. But I'm just trying to let you know, like, there's things I could say, but I'm not going to because that's not what I'm here to do. You know, I'm not a woman. I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I, that's not my, I can't really say stuff like that. But I will voice my opinion and let people know that that, that right there should have not been overturned. And, and I'll just keep it a straight buck with you. And that's just me being rise to elevate Marco and standing my ground. Like there should be no reason why women cannot control what they do with their body. And that's just simple as that, bro. Like that, that's, that's so mind boggling to me that, that people can literally dictate what a woman can do with their body. Like that's so sad. Um, so we'll just get to the third bullet point. Uh, is it fair for women? And that's a no-brainer too. No, it's not fair for women. It's, that's that's honestly the most absurd overturned or anything dealing with Supreme Court and stuff like that I've ever heard in my life. Like the fact that they're even like making this uh, thing still from 1973, I believe. Like, and we're just now finding doing this, dude. That come on now. Like we need to get rid of these older people out of this. Like, I'm not a big politic dude, bro. I promise you. Like, if you know me, I do not talk politics. But we need to get rid of these older people in these in these courts, man. Because something's going on. Like, they're, they're trying to do some cruel stuff to us. And I'm not afraid to talk about it. And that's why I'm excited to do what I'm doing. Because that's what this whole podcast is for. Is finding people who are not afraid to be themselves and speak their minds. Because a lot of times, this whole world is yes men and yes women... We follow the crowd. We do what that person does. And we want to be like them and do that. But we never pave your own way to doing your own things. And that's what's so hard about it. And yes, there's nothing wrong with learning what the other person does. But it's when you become that. When you just make that an addiction and you're that person too. You make your own wave. I mean, look at Kanye West at this BET award. He dedicated all his... All the thing he's done in his whole career to when he was literally signed to... What was it? Um... I forgot what the name of it was. Uh, Bad Boys Records. Bro was signed to uh, Jay Z. P. Diddy was signed to Bad Boy Records, and Kanye West looked up to him. He literally dedicated that whole speech to saying, "I I tried my hardest to even get P. Diddy to play my tracks." So you know, it's just. It's just crazy. You get what I'm trying to say, and um, I can't just stress it enough about this topic how important it is. Um, mainly, this this episode was solely revolved around men needing to speak up for our women. Okay, and I'm a, I'm gonna make a little clip out of this because this needs to be said over and over again. But yes, our men need to learn how to stick up for our women and our princesses because if nobody's doing it, I will. Okay. Because that is my job and my duty as a human to make sure I change the minds of men. To make sure we protect our women. Yes, our future. Our future print. Bro, like, I can't stress this enough, yo. Like, how, how are our men not doing nothing right now? Like, we come on. Wake up, guys. We got to do this, bro. We got somebody has to protect them. You know? So, yes, yes, yes. This episode was not... It probably took a turn and, you know, it may not get what I thought and what I think, but I don't care because I want this to be something I reflect on and know that I stood my ground for my women. Okay, so, you know, I love every single one of y'all. I love every single man. I love every single woman. I love every single kid that ever even I've known or watches this video. Um, I'm excited for the future and, and me being able to make a big role in it and change people's minds. But I'm also excited to see where politics are going and see if we make a grow or if we make a decline. 
Um, but either way, I'm going to be there. I'm going to step my foot down. And every chance I get, the bigger I get, the more that I'm going to have a voice. So I'm going to voice my opinion. Um, so shout out to my social media. I'm on everything right now. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitch. I finally, I finally just got on Spotify. So that right there is a big dream come true. I've always wanted to wake up and just turn on my Spotify and see my Rise to Elevate podcast on there. Um, you know, I shed it a tear. I shed it a tear, so that it felt different to see that. So go look at that, guys. I'm excited. Um, got Rise to Elevate game, uh, Rise to Elevate gaming going out the roof so far. Still, um, the kicks thing is coming soon. We're going to Savannah, Georgia this weekend to go to Cola Kicks is uh, opening, so that's going to be cool. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited, man. Shout out to D Well for being my next interview this Thursday. Uh, it's going to be dropping this Saturday at 8 o'clock. So stay tuned. I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys. I love every single one of y'all. I'm out of breath because this topic has been so like, just so detailed and like just keeping it straight honest with everybody, which I always do. But this one was like straightforward. Like I'm not a straight, I'm not afraid to voice my opinion because right now is the time to do it and I'm doing it. Um, so Next interview is D-Will. Um, I won't say again uh, who my other interview after that is because you gotta ha you had to watch the other uh, part of the ep uh, episode. Um, my next giveaway is coming up. I won't say when or anything. Y'all see that um, either probably on Saturday or Sunday um, after my interview. Um, but stay true to yourself. Never let anybody tell you your values of life. Uh, remember to um, rise to elevate. Every single day when you wake up, when you get out of that bed, I hope you make your bed, but when you get out of your bed and you brush your teeth, you make sure that you rise to elevate, okay? I love every single one of y'all and y'all have a blessed weekend. Peace. Counterfeit.